Korean b-boys were first noticed on the world stage at the German Boti. The 2002 win by Expression, a Korean crew, stirred up a lot of news. And with that, the stage was no longer dominated by the U.S. and Europe. Many people started to gather to watch what was the equivalent of the B-Boy World Cup. And those who encountered Korea's new breakdancing immediately became fans of Korean B-Boys. Teenagers in Europe now want to learn the amazing techniques of Korean B-Boy teams. The Battle of the Year is one of many b-boy competitions in the world. 19 finalists from the U.S., Europe, Japan, and other countries who have passed the competitive preliminaries take part. The 19 teams are the best in the world. Only the slimmest margin between the teams determines the winner. Last for one, who passed the Korean preliminaries after three challenges, and last year's winner, Gambler, participated as Korean representatives. It was only after dreaming of this opportunity for three years that the team took the stage of Boti. At Boti, the four teams that have performed the best to that point battle it out to see who wins. Last for one defeated the French team in the semifinals and is now going up against the Japanese team in the final round. Last for one seems to have taken control of the stage before the Japanese team with their perfect and brilliant routine. Last for one's victory. Nobody could deny that this was one perfect win. That's the last. That's <laughs> 그냥 한국 비보이라고 해가지고 기대를 하고 어 다른 외국 비보이들이 우리한테 기대를 했던 거지 우리 팀 이름은 잘 몰랐고 그리고 여기서 우리가 어떻게 하느냐에 달렸는데 막상 우승을 떡하니 해버리니까 모두 스포트라이트가 저희한테 다 오는 거예요. Everybody sincerely congratulated Last for One as the group showed some truly impressive moves. Last for One followed in the footsteps of Expression and Gambler and is definitely one of the big boys now. Last for One also participated in this year's Boti and took second place. They've also joined other b-boy competitions around the globe and came away with good scores. Here's a performance that reflects the worldwide interest in Korea's b-boys, the ballerina who loves a b-boy. It's a comprehensive, non-verbal performance featuring breakdancing and classical ballet. 
the performance is especially popular with foreigners. The performance is possible because Korea has world-class b-boys. Nonverbal means there aren't any language barriers. B-boys are skilled at expressing themselves through body language. B-boys are now about more than just dancing well and winning battle competitions. They're cultural icons symbolizing Korea. A performance which people from around the world can enjoy and understand. It's a byproduct of the talent of B-boys. Yes, very successful. What is the reason then? Um, because it, it, people can relate to the music and the dance style. And there was modern dance, there was ballet, there was hip hop, there was every element of dance. So I feel like there's something for everyone to relate to. It's very dynamic, you know, so it kind of touches your soul. Korea's b-boy culture continues to grow as it takes on more of a performance structure. معلوم أن لكل بلد ثقافاته الخاصة والشعب الكوري له عمق ثقافي وجذور ثقافية عريقة هؤلاء الشباب ممكن أن يصنعوا إنجازات عظيمة ممكن أن يوصلوا أصواتهم ممكن أن يعكسوا الصورة الواضحة عن كوريا وعن ثقافتها وعن تقاليدها كانوا موفقين في ذلك وممكن أن ينجزوا إنجازات عالمية You see if it goes there yes it will be I, uh, I assure you because the new generation are all they have uh, well knowledge of the Western style, and this is Western, the dancing is Western, so they are, it is well, they, they know it, uh, and they have CDs, DVDs, and they watch it all the time, and many, many of our youth, they are good at this dance, so you can, even children, they can dance this, uh, uh, but not as professional as the boys here, so I think it would be successful among the young generation, but I won't tell you that we will have groups like it in our Middle East as fast as this. As the demand for Korean b-boys grows, promoters of world-class b-boy competitions and overseas performances are coming to Korea. They want to look out for the next generation of b-boys. Last for one visited the 2006 Germany World Cup as a Korean emissary. <laughs> Having won the Battle of the Year in Germany the year before, many Europeans recognized them. <laughs> Their street performance became instant news and attracted the local media's attention. Their fun and awe-inspiring dance was effective in letting people know about Korea. B-boy는 <laughs> 이 성장기가 너무 이렇게 성장통이라든지 이런 걸 겪더라도 아뭐 실망 너무 섣부른 기대와 너무 섣부른 실망 이런 걸 거치지 않고 그냥 꾸준하게 지켜보고 그들이 자연스럽게 활동할 수 있는 그런 기반을 계속해서 마련하는 것 이것만 잘 맞춰진다면은 비보이 비보이가 그 컨텐츠로서 갖고 있는 역량 자체가 굉장히 높기 때문에 스스로 자생할 수 있을 것이다. Thanks to the free and beautifully passionate performances in Europe, now they are an icon of Korean culture and one that represents our country.
it was really exciting and I've, I've never seen breakdancing like that before. Um, I would come again to the World Cup to see just the dancers perform. Um, if I could do it myself, I would do it, but I'm far too old now to do that sort of thing. But they were absolutely brilliant.